a mess in here. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for coming and seeing my virtual tour of my gallery. Actually, my studio. I have a gallery. It's called Crown and Press. I'm starting again. That's terrible. Welcome to my studio. Welcome to the little virtual tour. I have another character coming into my videos and her name is Kaylee. She's behind the camera and she and I are going to start doing some great content for you. And the first thing we thought we'd talk about is this crazy studio that I work in. So this studio is about 11 by 20 feet and it is where I do everything, guys. I make a huge mess and what I like about that is I get to close the door and go in. However, I get anxiety in the mornings when I come in and it's a great mess. Kaylee just did a little video of me cleaning it up because I was a little bit embarrassed, but this was a cinder block shed and it sat on my property and for we've we've been here six years so four years ago we decided to renovate it and we created this wonderful space for me my son-in-law is a designer contractor and he did it for me so what you'll see first thing on, is on the floor this hot mess of a carpet i put this the ugliest carpet i could find so that I could splatter paint on it and I wouldn't worry about it. If you look close, there's paint all over. We installed this Ikea cabinet system and I absolutely love it. It is invaluable. Let me show you what I keep in here. So now you will notice that there is paint everywhere. I tried for the first bit to keep it clean but I have now given in and I'm letting the paint just fly. So here are my storage drawers. This is where I keep my acrylic paint. I'm an acrylic painter and I use a variety of different paints. I use Golden, I use Liquitex, sometimes I use Amsterdam for the th how thin it is and how slippery it is. And I go from tubes to tubs and I keep my chalk in here. This is a really cool tool that gets all the paint out of a tube. And this is where I keep, whoop, this is where I keep, <laughs> this is, if the paint wants to come out, I keep this here. So we'll have to solve that. Green gold is one of my favorite colors. And every once in a while, I do go through and I organize it by color. And then after a while, I work a lot and it all gets disorganized. Then I have drawers full of reference material. And every once in a while, I do go through this as well and sort it. And then I just am able, when I want to paint a new series, I can go through all of these and be inspired again and again. One day I will do a video on how to use your reference over and over again. So there you go. And then, you know, printer paper. Here is the garbage. But the one thing I do, I take this towel at the beginning of every day and I drape it over front of the garbage and I use this a lot for when I'm cleaning up so that I don't get paint absolutely all over everything and this is great for me to dry my hands on just makes it convenient and then these bigger drawers are filled with things that I use but not on a regular basis so my wiring 
my uh, chargers, little things that I need in the studio, but I don't use all the time. Big, and every once in a while I go through it, guys. All right, then I've got my, my mirror so I can check myself out when people are coming <laughs> to make sure I don't have paint, and that has happened. Paint all over my face. And then I have this wonderful TV here and I watch a lot of YouTube, which is why we're doing this channel. I'm so excited about doing YouTube. I learned so much from it. I have been consuming content to try to figure out what I can bring you in the way of uh, good, good content, educational and entertaining. This is where I keep all my print brushes. And guys, I, I do, I go through and I use a lot of these. Some of them are old, but th those are good for purposes too. These are 12 by 12 paintings that I have completed for my next square foot show. I'm gonna have to talk to you on a whole nother reel about what the square foot show is. That's very exciting. My husband, Doug, who is a gift to me, built me this cleat system. I don't know why I never built a cleat system in my old studio because this is the best thing in the world. It's basically straps of wood that have an angle. And here, Kaylee, if I get behind you, I have to get in and I'll, I'll show them. And we'll do a better, a more concise reel about or um, story about this. But this is the cleat that attaches to the back of a canvas. And then when the camp, when it's attached, it will fit right in, right in. And my canvas can be low. And if I need to work on the bottom, I can raise it up. It's really quite brilliant. And then if you really looked close, there's screws and things all over this. When I have a little garden party or show, I can actually use this for display. So, it was one of the smartest things I did. Then I don't have waste of space on the floor. So I have an easel over here, which I still use, but I am tempted to get my husband to build me uh, a cleat system on that side too. Here's the fantastic table that I move around and I use often. If I'm doing flat 12 by 12s, this is where I paint and my lovely chair from I think this is from article that I have paint all over. It is custom, customized now. And this was my attempt to try the drop cloth to keep the wall clean, but it is convenient because I do clean my brush on it often while I'm painting. This piece is fantastic. Isn't it fun? It's so good looking. I found it at an antique market and had it installed in here and it has all my books. I wrote, to, um, I have two books that I've illustrated with my daughter, Rachel. Look at those cows. And there was a thing inside my shoe and a coffee table book. So this is where I do keep a lot of storage and when people drop in, it's just to have access to them so that I can, I can sell them those. That's the goal is to sell your art, right? So I have a large double door for a window. It's great. It looks out to my house, which is, if you can see that Kaylee, can they see my yeah, house? Yeah. That's where I come out with my coffee in the morning. And I bought this wonderful little art deco table that is now getting covered in paint as well. Apparently I'm pretty, pretty messy. And we keep it heated. This may or may not be interesting to you, but we have a unit on the wall above your head, Kaylee, that is an air conditioner and a heater. And that is how we keep it toasty in the winter and cool in the fall. So I brought in these canvases. These have been pre-painted red. They're a little dusty because they've been in the garage and I will live with these shapes for a bit and then I will figure out what I want to paint on them 
from the reference materials in my drawer. So there's a little there's a little tour of the studio. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know. Hit subscribe so I can uh, build more for you and have a great day.